with the subtlety in the wilderness. And let's be clear about these three temptations presented to us in the scripture. Satan, the evil one. I suggest to you that the temptations were not visions. Mm. Neither were they symbolic representations. Nor were they myths. This was the man, the evil man, the sinful man, the, the, the one that was driven and thrown out of heaven. Trying to overthrow Jesus and his earthly dream. Amen. All of these were adu uh, adduced by those who tried to discredit the truthfulness of these accounts of Scripture. They say this and they say that. But I explained to you the very purpose of these presentations. <coughs> mm -hmm. While a full exposition of the nature of these are beyond the scope of my preaching. What I do know is, before Jesus could deliver humanity from the shackles of the devil, hmm. he himself needed to be victorious over the strength and cunning subtlety of the devil. Amen. Amen. Let's be clear again. There's a lot of preachment around and a lot of things that are just not what the scripture teach. All right. Amen. Let's be clear, I say to you, that Jesus defeated Satan on his own ground. Oh, yeah. Where you and I would have been no match. Mm. All right. For the sovereignty of his power. And ultimately, ultimately, Jesus will cast that devil into the lake of fire. Yes, sir. Eschatology. Mm -hmm. Jesus, as humanity's representative, finishing the 40 days in the wilderness without any food. And responding to the first two of the temptations. But on the third temptation, then, T A T N, on the third temptation, Jesus said unto the devil in the fourth chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verse 10, Get thee hence, yes, sir. For it is written, written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thou God. And only shall thou serve. Amen. Amen. All right. I submit to you if the church could know that worship the true living God and that we should serve only Him. Amen. Amen. Not ourselves, Amen. not our family, not Amen. our friends, nor our associates, nor our business dealings. We should serve God. He alone is worthy worship. of our worship. Yes, sir. How glorious, how spectacular Jesus won the battle and bruised the heel of Satan. You can see this in Genesis, the third chapter. Verse yes, sir. 25. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Remember, such temptations typify, typify the whole round of satanic assaults on each one of us. Hmm. He doesn't sleep. He's always busy. Hmm. He, 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 
attempts to trick us through our body, through our spirit. Oh, yeah. He will try to catch our soul. Hell oh, yeah. There are several questions I have for us, not for you, but for us, mm. as I conclude these words. It's not the multitude of words, but the soul sincere desire of allowing the Holy Spirit to be in us everything that we're unable to mm -hmm. be in and of ourselves. But I've got several questions. What happens to your psychic deep within, not from the surface, when you are called upon to experience what I'm calling bittersweet? Yeah. What do our heavy hearts prove that we have not Attempt to the fullest. A clear understanding is needed here. The mastery of our true freedom, the full perception of its power upon the sonship, upon the daughtership, is yet not realized, church. Hmm and its blessings not yet proved and known. Yet our consent will turn our trials into obedience. Amen. Amen. Only if we keep that in mind. Amen. Amen. God allows this because he's doing something in and through us. And by our consenting, we make them known and offer them with ourselves again to our Savior and our Lord, wherever our praying ground is. Amen. Amen. Remember, my brothers and sisters here, my Calvary, that nothing is in trouble. Mm. Are you with me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, Thank yes. You. Understand, family, <clears throat> God has bound our children upon each one of us. But He had a design, or He has a design, to try. Us. And with that purpose of trying us, he does so that he might be able to reward us. Well, well. Jesus said upon leaving, I will not leave you confidence. He said it. Yes, he did. The Holy Spirit, when he comes, he will lead you, he will guide you, he will teach you. If only we will allow him to be who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Operating mm. on the table of our hearts. Allowing us, allowing him to do in us what we are totally unable to do in and of ourselves. Thank you, Lord. He gives us, he offers us things that are meant to hurt, harm and even destroy us. But you heard what Jesus said. Get me him Satan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Here's some words from Jeremy Taylor. I mentioned that to Pastor Johnson, one of the great preachers of many years ago. Yes, sir. These are his words. These, these chords Thou canst not break. Hmm. Therefore, lower thyself down gently hmm. and suffer the hand of God 
to do what he wants to do in and through us. Amen. Amen. What a, what a powerful truth. When you don't know which way to go, you don't know where to turn to, and you don't know who's going to be there for you, Jeremy Keller said, lie thyself down gently and All right. suffer the hand of God yes, sir. through the power of the Holy Spirit to do what God pleases to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I also mentioned to him about C.W. Power. And what he said, what he wrote, and what he preached. And say to our Savior, though we do not understand all of the circumstances, yet through whispered prayer, may thy pleasure mine. Well, well. Did you hear well, what I just said? Well, well. Through whispered prayer. Yes. Oh God. Make thy pleasure mine. Hmm. Because someone said, just hmm. yesterday, he said something very forceful to me. And I'm saying to you, I'm saying to us, brother, when these things come upon us, let us remember what C.W. Cowper said. And make thy pleasure mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, if I could have known and thought of these, these words years ago. Mm. And then I hasten to say, I am a God once man. Mm. Mm. Several weeks ago, I got sick for the first time in my life. And I went to the hospital in Charlottesville and got treatment. And was able to overcome one. All right. But the other one, I had yet while I'm standing here. And I started to call Pastor Jensen and suggest perhaps my son-in-law or someone else to come. But I put my head on the pillar and I said, May thy pleasure, O Lord, mine. <laughs> say right. it, say it, say it. And when people tell me that God is good all the time, I know that's true. Mm -hmm. However, these words of those questions hmm. I have posed to us gathered here, which expresses completely for the episode which my Lord and your Savior have deemed necessary. These three temptations came upon Jesus, so I believe deeply that you and I would have been unable to withstand it. But Jesus might, through temptation, listen to me now, Jesus might, through temptation, shake our frame. All right. Hallelujah. In order to build Hallelujah. a superstructure on our commitment to him. No turning around. Whatever hmm. you wish, Lord, no turning around, we will take. These trials and these temptations came or come to cripple us yeah. in order for us to get out of God's way. Hmm. All right. And let go our busy, busy schedules. Hmm. And in that pursuit of that which does not bless, 
God, through the Holy Spirit, will carry us to where we ought to be, that we may make the right decision for Him. I don't know anything about tomorrow, but I'm glad to report to you, I know who holds tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, Not only tomorrow, I know who's working in our life right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of a preacher? What is, what is the purpose of what you say? So that our Savior would perform in us and through us that we could not handle alone. Amen. Amen. And Jesus Christ, by sending the Holy Spirit without acceptance to do that which is best for heaven hmm. and for us. Thank you, All right. Lord. Thank you. Thank you, How do you know that's true? Amen. Amen. The Apostle Paul encourages the Galatians and us here gathered at Calvary. In the fifth chapter of that book, verse 16, for those of you that would read, this I say, then walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Thank All you, right. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say it again, preacher. This yes. I say, then walk yes. in the Spirit, say it. and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Therefore, we need the Holy Spirit to yes, us. Sir. To be in us, everything we are unable to be in and of ourselves. It doesn't matter how much we've learned. Hmm. It doesn't matter how much we think we know. We need the Holy Spirit yes, sir. in us. Yes, sir. All right. To lead us. Why, Pastor? So that in life's most cruel extremities, we may fully acknowledge our dependency on Him. By saying, each one of us, in the prophecy of our body, our soul, and spirit, my dear Savior, make thy pleasure mine. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, church. All right. Hallelujah. I close with these words. I'm encouraged. Obedience, mm -hmm. faith, mm -hmm. and trust will always come with reward. Amen. 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 Obedience, faith, and trust will always come with reward. And perhaps years ago, I found in Joshua the 23rd verse, I'm sorry, the 23rd chapter, verse 14, that confirm what I already know. Listen to what he says. Not one thing have failed of all of the good things which the Lord our God spake concerning you. All right. Amen. All have come to pass, and you ought to shut. I was in the Pentecostal church and it was shut. Amen. <laughs> All of these things have Amen. Come to be. May someone have not heard this little piece that I found in the old Elgin Hospital the day my mother took her journey home. Mm. I walked out of the hospital room. The doctor had called me in our home 
on 6th and Mississippi Avenue Southeast and told and it said to me, Sir, you better hurry. She's leaving us. I'm not going to tell you how fast I drove. Mm -hmm. But from 6th and Mississippi Avenue Southeast, Washington, D.C., I was at Washington and Duke Street in nine minutes. Mm. And as I walked in, the doctor told me, said, she was saying some words. And I'm not, I'm not going to share these words. But she was sharing these words. And as I walked out of the door, there was a book on the table, and it was open. And at that age, 26 years old, I could read and retain. Anywhere in the 90s, everything that I read. Mm -hmm. And this is what it says. My father's way may twist and turn. Mm. My heart mm. may fall and ache. Yeah. But in my soul, I'm glad I know. My God, make no, no mistake. No mistakes. Yes, sir. My cherished plans may go astray, my mm. hopes may all fade away. But yes, still yes. I'll trust my Lord to lead. Before he does go away. All right. There's so much I cannot see. My eyesight far too dim. But come what may, mm. I'll simply trust and leave it all to him. Then will I be where I would be. Then shall I be where I should be. Yeah. And things that are not now, nor could be, shall be our very own. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. All right. There's just something about that name.
just like that temptation in the wilderness. <laughs> it was not sent by God, but it was allowed by God. Right, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Because God will use the trials of the world Go ahead. to test us and make us stronger. That's right. Is that all right? Yes. All right. Amen. And we know, and we know. that all things Yes, Things sir. Work together for good. Yes, sir. To them that love God and who are the call according to his purpose. Let's thank God again for the word. And we thank you for that anthem of praise. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. There is something about that name. Now, if you are here today and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, we stand ready to introduce you to him today. And I've served several years as the director of the Commission of Evangelism of the Northern Virginia Baptist Association. And I wanted to step down this year, but they asked me not to. But there's one thing about plan of salvation. There's something about witnessing. So many churches are only concerned about their own geographic location. And instead of growing the kingdom, they merely want to grow their congregations. That's right. There are two things we need to know when we think about the plan of salvation. Number one, just because you witness to someone here in Fairfax does not mean that they will join your church in Fairfax. Mm. They may give their life to Christ in the city of Fairfax and start worshiping God on a regular basis in the city of Centerville or Manassas or even Woodbridge. That should not discourage us. It should encourage all churches to double, triple, and quadruple their efforts of sharing the plan of salvation. Because if we are in a network of churches that is sharing Christ, someone may give their life to Christ in Manassas or even Fredericksburg, but start worshiping God here in Fairfax. Okay. But we all need to be part of the solution rather than part of the problem. Right. You cannot, in the midst of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, saying, I will show you how to give your life to Christ if you promise to join my church. Not at all. As long as they are saved, we should rejoice like Philip when he shared the gospel with the Ethiopian eunuch. That's right. Amen. That's right. So if you are here today, All right, sir. now you are welcome to join Mount Calvary, but if you do not join Mount Calvary, we would be satisfied that after hearing the good news of Jesus Christ, that you would merely give your life to Christ. And you can join any church. That's right. That God's Spirit leads you to Amen. Help. Amen. 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 Now, if there's anyone to my right uh, who has already given their life to Christ, please signify by raising of your hand. Amen. Some of y'all are ready. Just like those Westerns, your <laughs> hand was ready. Amen. <laughs> Everyone to my left who has given their life to Christ, please signify by raising your hand. Amen. Amen. And some people say, well, Reverend, why do you do that? I say, well, I'm saving myself for when I meet someone who doesn't know Jesus. That's the problem with most churches as well. We keep trying to save folks who are already saved, but we don't talk to anyone who's lost. Well, you're right, sir. Now, we are going to do a video recording of the plan of salvation. We're going to send it to you, to your computer. We can also send it to you if you like, to your cell phone. And you'll be able to share the plan of salvation 
with someone who really needs to hear it. Amen? Amen. Amen. This has been a wonderful service in this house on this morning. Amen. Amen. And I'll say to everyone here as we prepare to dismiss that I thank everyone who um, participated in my birthday celebration on yesterday. Let us uh, stand and be ready to receive the benediction.